Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Capita Indoor Survival for 2022. This board features Capita's Park V1 camber profile, which is basically traditional camber to right before the up kick and the tip in the tail, and then you get like what they call a micro reverse camber zone. It realistically is just a little bit of rocker, and it essentially, is a full camber board. It's just the way that it rides. So you're gonna get that load and pop of traditional camber, as well as just how it feels locked in when you're riding it. This board is available in 150, 152, 154, 156, and 158. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day with moderate winds, cooler temps. There was chunder heavy pow, where you could find it, fresh corduroy, a little bit of ice, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. The big thing to talk about for the 2022 version of the Indoor Survival is that they stiffened it up. So it's still that middle of the road park flex, but just slightly stiffer. Now what you get is slightly softer nose and tail, especially outside that camber section, and then it starts to stiffen up midway to the insert pack and it does that through the middle of the board. There is torsional flex, you will notice it in there. And when it comes to stability, this board is more stable than the 2021 version. You do get a little bit of chatter out in the nose, never fully resonates back underfoot. In rutted out terrain, it doesn't really get kicked around or wash out. It stays on top of everything, it feels locked in, but you do notice those big body jars. With this board being predominantly camber with that little micro zone out in the tip and the tail of the reverse flat, whatever you want to call it, you do have to load it up and you're going to get a lot of spring out of it. It doesn't fully pop all the way out right at the tip kick. It's a little more in, but this board boosts. You load it up and it just rebounds and snaps. You want to send a side hit? Go ahead. You want to launch a cat track gap? Do it. Family of fat skier people, ollie over them. It doesn't friggin' matter. And when it comes to jumps, small, medium, large, it's got you covered. This board boosts and it locks in on the landing. It's super stable. You don't have to worry about it. This is a board that wants to get in the air and it's gonna set down perfectly fine and lock back in. The big thing to note with this board being stiffer is that the sweet spot in the nose and the tail has been slightly diminished. So you wanna get your weight way out over it when you're buttering and really press into it. And then the camber profile is gonna fight you. It's a board that you have to be more calculated. You have to put more power in, a little bit more speed to get it to swivel and sizzle. And when it does, it's fine, just be prepared. You're gonna pop out of everything. It's not for a lazy ass rider. Now, when it comes to jibbing, speed and precision are gonna be your friend. You want it to lock into those nose or tail presses by getting your weight out over it. And when you hit the end of the feature, it's going to spring out. You're going to notice that right away. It does fight you a little bit when you're trying to press it. So if you're a little weak in the legs, you might wanna build some more muscle. Now when you get sideways on this board, due to it being mostly camber, it doesn't fully clap out, but it's not like that teeter-totter effect. It's just sort of slightly balanced on the feature and it slides with ease. You are gonna notice that it does take a little bit more effort just to board slide and stay locked in. That's not a bad thing. Use a little more speed and be a little more calculated. You're gonna be fine. Now let's talk about my favorite aspect of this board, carving on it. This board is very quick and nimble edge to edge. You notice that power transmission is very dominant and very aggressive. It's when you get on edge that you can slightly dissipate how much pressure you're putting into it and steer it more back underfoot than out at the tip and the tail. This is a deck that you feel locked in on and when you want to rail a carve, all you have to do is flex it from inside that front foot back through the tail and you're gonna get that power out of that tail that's gonna slingshot you through the turn. This is a deck that you can rail a hard carve with if you absolutely want to. You don't have to worry about it. Short, tight, quick, mellow carves, medium carves, skidded turns, everything in between, you can do it. But it really shines when you put it a little bit on edge and give it a little more power. Who's this board for? 
The well-rounded park rider that wants camber dominance. I really liked last year's indoor survival. It just had this feel of a board that you had ridden, it was well broken in, it was very predictable. This feels more like the previous year's one with the titanal struts in it, except they didn't put the struts. It's just got a titanal I-beam in it. This gives it more stiffness, more response to it, but that precision and power is solid. This board is a blast to ride. I really liked railing carves on this thing and just popping 180s, landing on my edge, reverting it back around or popping into another 180 and then landing back on edge. This is a super solid sleeper hit in my opinion, park board. Can't speak highly enough of how well this thing truthfully rides. Comparable boards, the Burton Custom Camber, the K2 After Black, the Ride Burnout. Binding recommendations, the Union Strata, the Ride C8, the Rome Katana. This has been my review of the Capita Indoor Survival. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, sign up to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains why you should become a member. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.